Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Excel 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert, size, move, and format images. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need to know about formatting images is we have two options to format images, either from our computer or using a web search. I'm going to show you how to do both of these in this tutorial, starting out with from our computer. So let's go to the Insert tab. And on the illustrations group, you're going to see this button right here. That is pictures from file. And this inserts pictures from your computer. If you click on pictures, you'll see that it opens up your computer's file explorer. And then you can click on the location where your file is located and double click to insert the image onto your page. When you insert the image, you'll notice the size of this image is very large right from the start. So there's two ways to resize your picture. The first way is by clicking on the picture going to the Picture Tools Format tab, the Size group, and changing the height or width. By default, if you change one of these, the other one will be automatically adjusted, so it doesn't distort your image. For instance, if this one is currently 5.86 inches, if I click on that, it'll highlight. If I type in 2 for 2 inches, and I press Enter, notice that the height decreased, but also the width decreased. That's good because, again, we don't want our images distorted. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to further resize this image. Whenever I'm resizing an image and it's not quite the right size, I don't want to come over here and type in 1.5 and then have to change it back up a little bit or down a little bit. Instead, a more accurate way is by clicking and dragging from the bottom right sizing handle, which is right here in the corner, and dragging to make it smaller or larger. I want to make this one about the size of my row 1 cell. All right. Now you'll uh, see that now it's the correct size, but now I want to remove the background. This blue background doesn't really fit with the theme of my presentation. So there's an easy way to remove backgrounds within Microsoft Office. You go to the Picture Tools Format tab, Adjust Group, and on the far left side here, you'll see the Remove Background button. If you click on this, it's going to try to remove the background from your picture. Now keep in mind that these sizing handles that are on the inner portion of this are the only parts that are be going to be included when you finish. So I actually want to increase this to include all of my image. So I click and drag from the top left up to the top left and from the bottom right sizing handle down to the bottom right of the image and release my mouse. That way all of my image is being considered. Now I see that everything that is in the normal picture color is being kept and everything that is in the purple pink color in the background is being removed. If I need it to be more specific, if certain portions of the picture were not uh, formatted correctly, like you can see here, if I zoom in, you'll see just this little bottom right area was uh, not included, but that actually should be. I want to keep that area. So I'm going to go right up here to mark areas to keep and then use the pencil tool to drag down right in that area, click and drag, and release my mouse so that that area is also included. Okay. For the opposite, if you want to remove a certain area, you would just click mark areas to remove and drag through the area that you want to remove. You should see that when you do that, it turns to pink. All right, now that this is looking good, I'm going to go right here to keep changes, and you'll see that the background was correctly removed from my image. So that looks good. I'm going to zoom back out a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to further edit your image. And first thing I'm going to show you is how to change the color of an image. Let's say that I want to get rid of this uh, gray color and I want to change it to a blue color. All right, well, the first thing I need to do here is go to the color button. That's in the adjust group in the Picture Tools Format tab, and this will change the color to improve the quality or match document content. And I'm going to change this to a blue color. So I'm going to go right here, and maybe I'll change it to this one right here. Blue, accent color 1, light. I click that, and that'll change that color. Alright, so the next thing that I'm going to show you how to do is adjust the brightness and contrast within the picture, which is right here, in the corrections option. And this will improve the brightness or contrast or sharpness to the picture. And if I click on that, we have Sharp and Soften up here at the top, as well as our Brightness and Contrast options down here. Up at the top here is the lowest amount of contrast. The bottom is the highest amount of contrast. I could, I could tell because when I hover over them, it says plus or minus for contrast. Among left and right, left is your lowest amount of brightness. Right is your highest amount of brightness. I'm going to increase the Brightness and Contrast by 20% each by clicking on this icon. 
and there we go. Now you can see the image. This was before, this is after. All right, so that's another way to edit our photos or images. The next part here I'm going to show you how to do is the artistic effects, and that's in the picture tools format tab, adjust group, artistic effects, and this will add artic artistic effects to the picture to make it more look more like a painting or a sketch. And if I click on this, I can hover over the options to see how they'll look. I'm actually going to choose the last one down here, which is glow edges. I click on that, and now we see our image is all set. That looks good. I'm going to actually increase the size of this image just a little bit so that this part aligns with the bottom of row one. And there we go. All right, so that one is currently set and that one is all done. And now I'm going to show you the second part of this tutorial, which is how to insert online images. So I'm going to click away from that cell or away from that image rather and go back up to the insert tab the illustrations group and then this time I'm going to choose online pictures and this will help you find and insert pictures from a variety of online sources using the Bing search en engine. Right here I click on search Bing and then I'm going to type in stock market clip art to find clip art images of the stock market. I'll see that Creative Commons options pop up and I can click on any of them and then click insert to insert the pictures you'll see that this image is quite large on our page. So we're gonna to need to reduce the size. If I click on the image, I could then go up here to the height and change this from 7.06 to 1.65 and press enter. That's a lot more manageable of a size. Now I'm gonna take this and drag it to the right. And you'll see that it still cuts off just a little bit of my text right there. So I'm gonna decrease the size just a little bit more so that it no longer cuts off that text. All right, once we feel like it's sized correctly on our page, again, I do want it to take up both of these cells just a little bit. Now it's in the correct spot. Remember, to move any image, all you have to do is click on the center of the image and move it and drag it to the spot you want it to go. I want mine to go right there. And so that's how we move an image. Now what we're going to do is change the image properties. Now, remember, whenever you have an image selected, you'll see the Picture Tools Format tab up here at the top but there's actually another list of uh, properties and options that you could change within uh, Excel. And all you have to do is go to any of the groups in the bottom right and click the dialog box launcher. And I'm gonna click the size dialog box launcher in the bottom right to open up the format picture pane. This breaks it down into four different options for fill in line, effects, size and properties, and picture options. I'm gonna show you what some of these do. Notice that since I clicked the size dialog box launcher, it set me up in the size and properties area. I can now adjust the height, the width, and so on and so forth. Down here is an option for properties. If I click on properties here, I can change how the picture is currently affected on the page. Now you see that this image right here, it says move but don't size with the cells. What that means is if I increase, say, column one to a much larger size, the picture doesn't move. Let's see if some other options change the way that that's affected. If I click on the picture here, but then click move and size with cells, and then I go back to row one, and I increase it, notice that the picture also increased with the size of those cells. So that's what that means when you change the size properties right over here. All right, I'm going to leave the size of this uh, cell alone, but you do notice the difference when you increase the size of that cell. All right, so the next part here is I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to show you how to customize it a little bit further. Okay, and so on this part, we've now adjusted the size of that cell. And so we're going to make a correction to the image by uh, clicking the picture icon at the top of the task pane, which is right up here. And this is where we can change our picture corrections. You may remember when we changed the brightness and contrast earlier, it only had certain uh, percentages that we could go. But if you want something very specific, let's say the brightness at negative 25, you could actually adjust it right here to negative 25. And you'll see it adjust in real time. Same with contrast. I could change that to say 45 to change the contrast of the image. You could always close the format pane right over here on the right side by clicking this X to close it. And you could click outside the image to deselect it. Again, remember this image is set to move with the, a height of cells. So as we increase, 
this one will move. Since this one had the default options, it does not move. So hopefully that's taught you a little bit more about how to insert images into your workbooks, whether it's from your computer or from an online source, how to size those, and how to set up your size options to move with cells or without cells. Finally, we talked about how to move our images and how to format them with brightness and contrast, artistic effects, and other um, methods of picture adjustment. If this video has been helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have a question, please put it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great rest of your day.